All right. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for tuning back in to another DOY Creations video. I am Jeanette, a.k.a. Soraya of DOY Creation. Before I get started, you know, I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High, Yah. All right, guys. So I just wanted to stop in to share with you guys some finished items that I have completed along with... I got a couple of whiffs whips but i'm only going to show you one because the second one is basically um some jewelry so if you have not some of you guys majority of you guys probably already seen this but if you didn't join us on our sunday chat you didn't see that i finished making sure i did sewing all my loose ends I did finish the, um, it looks black, but this is navy blue hat with, um, with a flower. Now, this is not a detachable flower. I did went on and put it on there. But what I'm thinking for um, some of my future orders, I'm probably going to put some type of embellishment, embellishment right here. Maybe like a button or something to make it, make the flower stand out even more. So I share with you all that this was the big, if you think that, you know, disregard, but this was the huge fleece um, scarf and my sister needed a navy blue hat to go with it. So that is now completed. Um, I was supposed to, supposedly mailed that or sent that to my sister on Sunday, but Sunday was pretty nice here in Chicago. But I wasn't feeling well. And basically, after I got off camera with you guys, I think I ate a little something and I just, I ran to a couple of stores and I got back home and I just relaxed myself because I really, I really still don't have all the energy that I need. My energy is extremely low. So um, even though the weather was very pleasant here in Chicago, I just didn't have the energy. We're going to get more um, beautiful days. Now, today is Tuesday, and we got high winds. It's very cold out, but it's Chicago, y'all. We are the windy city. So another thing, so I went on and finished that, so I'll make sure I get that to my sister sometime this week. If you guys are new to my channel, you probably didn't see this hat with this a scarf. I decided to go ahead and keep this hat and scarf for myself because I did not find any more of this lace uh, type. I know this is called eyelash yarn. So I was not able to find any more of the eyelash yarn. Not that I even been looking for it to be honest with you guys. I have not been looking for it, but I decided to keep this for myself just in case I don't find it. It's perfect, you know, for me. So I, I have a tutorial uh, available for um, plastic bags holder. So with mine, I share with you guys my green one, but I end up gifting that green plastic bag to a friend of mine. So I decided to make myself another one. So here is my new plastic bag holder. So you just basically, you just stuff here with plastic bags and then you could, this part is open down here so you can just, let me give you an example. <laughs> not, that, <coughs> not that you, you know, don't know what I'm speaking about, but you just have this plastic bag right there. So anytime you need a plastic bag, you could just pull it out from there or you can pull it out from the top. So I went on, I'm trying to still scrap it up. I'm still trying to get rid of a lot of my um, scrap yarn. Um, so I went on and took the black and the white. I got my, um, plastic bag holder. Now the, the one that I share with you guys, and even the one that I have as a tutorial, um, I'll link that tutorial in the description box below, just in case you want to make, um, that bag. But, uh, this one is a little bit more wider. I really forgot how many uh, increases I did. So this one's a little bit wider. And I kind of like that. I cut all, I sewed in all my loose pieces. And then you just hang it, you can hang it, whatever you want to hang it. 
I got a hanger right over there. I just hang it because I do do a lot of work in here. And so I could just grab my bag to dispose everything instead of walking back and forward to uh, the kitchen. So I went on and made that in black and white. I used up all my white um, scrap yarn. So I don't have, I have, I believe, yeah, I have newer white, but I wanted to use up that. So how cool is that? All right, so I'll make sure I leave that um, tutorial just in case you want to make it yourself. It'll be available for you to do. All right, so before I share with you guys my jewelry, let me just share with you guys dealing with crochet, uh, my whip. So I'm work. I'm still working on my uh, knit crate for January. Y'all know I frogged that project at least three times. So I finally decided that I figured out what I wanted to do with it, which is the lace scarf. Now keep in mind this is 100% merino, and I didn't want to mix this yarn. It's beautiful. It's soft. So I didn't want to, you know, put mixed fabric on here. So I went on and finished the first uh, skein of it. So now I'm working on the second skein. So that was the first and there's the second. And it's flowing in very, very nicely. Because they give us two screen. Uh, usually they give us two skeins of yarn every month. You would barely would get. If you get one skein, it, it has more yardage on there. But uh, with Knit Crate, you usually get two skeins of the yarn. So this one is flowing in very, very nicely. I am loving it. And I was afraid of that. I was like, I don't know if that's going to blend in, but it will. It's blending in very well. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, as you can see, I just got started with it. At least that color because it's going to be like that. And go all the way down. I'm very happy with the uh, pattern that I decided to do for this yarn. It's a more delicate type of yarn. Um, and everything that I was doing with it was more on a heavier skein uh, of things. Because initially uh, I started off as a poncho. And then I changed it to a cow neck. And now I end up doing the lace scarf. But a new thing that I'll be doing... Uh, with my knit crate is as I get them, I want to sh show you guys what the box entails. But then before I actually upload the video, I want to already been in work the project that they are referencing. And that way I don't have to really uh, look for a pattern. Now, the pattern that they had for the month of January was a cow neck scarf. And the only reason why I did not follow that pattern is because I have so many cow necks. And so I just wanted to do something other than, you know, what was referenced to me. But they had a beautiful knit and a beautiful um, crochet. So if you're interested in joining Knit Crate, I'll make sure I leave my link down there as well. So you can say 20% off your first order. Give it a try. You might like it. You might even love it. So there you have it. And I think it's flowing very, very nicely. The colors are playing together very well. So I should have this done um, before the week is out. Because like I said, it's a thinner yarn. And me and thin yarn, we don't work too quickly with one another. Okay, we work kind of slow. So those are the items that I have completed as far as uh, dealing with crochet and the whip. Now, I went to the store... Like I said, on Sunday, the only store that I went to was Walmart's. And I went to Walmart's along with Joanne. And I was looking for some um, silver wire because I got an order in for uh, a pair of the base wire. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll share that with you guys right now. Let me start off with the base. So I got a, uh-uh, nothing needs to fall. Come on back here. Nothing needs to fall. Nothing needs to be damaged. So I got an order for a silver pair of base. And as I was sharing with you guys, I did not have 
uh, silver and one of my subscribers contacted me and told me exactly where to go get the silver. Now I have shipped out to a few of you guys some silver um, wire earrings, but those are very, very delicate wires. This one is a little bit more uh, stiff, thicker. So these are my base wire earrings. Okay. Okay, I don't need to do it like that. Okay, so here are the base wire earrings that I got an order for, which I was super excited about, and thank you for ordering. So those are called the base. Now, these do look appear to be large, and for some people who don't really care for larger earrings, yeah, these would be a little bit large for you. But those are my base, and I needed some silver wire, and... Right now, any time that you are ordering any of my earrings, you will be getting the ring as, as a bonus. All right. So I went on and worked on that. And another color that I found that I thought was really fun was I found some wire in the color black. Now, it's not a problem finding different colors. If you go to Michael's, if you go to Joanne or Hobby Lobby, you'll see a variety of different colors. It's not that. It's the, um, not the yardage. It's the, the gauge that I'm looking for. I have to have the proper gauge. So I did found some in black. So I made some base in black. Now, you guys know if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And for all my returning subscribers, you know who you are. Thank you for always supporting me. I appreciate it. Um, if you're new to my channel, I name my jury uh, dealing with music. So these are bass. Okay, this, is, this ring is really trying to steal the show. And I don't need it to steal the show right now. So there you have it in black, along with a black ring. Those are called base. So now I have the base in silver. Now I have them in black, gold plated, red wine, purple, and green, along with the ring. And then... I made some notes. I made some notes. And I'm not putting on the same ring, guys. I made different rings. I made three rings to go with all three of these projects. These you can find on my website. Um, you're going to find the other ones on the website as well. But these are called notes. Wait a minute. No, these are called strings. These are called strings. They are very lightweight, okay? Sometimes when you look at things and they can appear to be a little bit heavier than it actually is. These are not heavy at all. They are very light to um, very light to the ear. So I don't want you to think that if I get some of those, those appear to be a little intimidating. They're not. And anyone who has ordered from me, Please confirm that in <laughs> the uh, description, I mean, the comments below. But there you have it. Didn't know if they were showing up too well. And those are called strings. Now, these are available on my website. However, the color black is not there. But anytime you place an order, um, they give you a note section where you can be a little bit more detailed on exactly what you're looking for. So there those are. And then I made some Melody, one of my best sellers in black. And if you don't notice, the rings are different. Each ring is has a little different design. But these are what I call Melody with the ring in black. So super excited to have been able to make 
the different ones. Now, the only ones I did not make in black, and which I will be making, is the notes. So I have four different types of earrings. I have one in base, a fallen Melanie. I have one in base, one in Melanie, one in notes, one in strings. So if you wanna see what the notes looks like, just go to the website. I'll make sure I leave that link down below. But these right here, you guys really love. So if you need some in black, I got you. And just to confirm that I was not trying on the same rings. I know you guys believe me, but those are the different rings. Ooh, it looks like I'm ready to play something. No, can't play not one instrument. And I actually have a guitar. I got a guitar inspired by an uh, artist called, uh, what's her name? Uh, her name just was at the tip of my tongue. And it left just like that. This is what this cold is doing to me. This cold have me, if I don't say things, Indian I read. Okay, Indian I read. I bought a guitar because I loved her first CD. And I loved her walking around with her guitar. Anybody know Indian I read? Leave it down below. So I made all those uh, earrings. So what I'm going to be doing, let me just give you a quick update. Um... So what I'm going to be doing is adding the base to the website. But right now, the way that I've been having you guys order is basically I've been saying, you know, if you're interested in anything, just leave it down in the comments below and we could do PayPal and I send you over invoice, you pay the invoice, so forth and so on. And that has been working very well for me as well. But I'm giving you another option because when I put these on the, um, the website, what I'm going to be doing, because as you can see on the website, I had I had a moment where I was doing free shipping, um, but it was costing me more to get everything together than, you know, everything. So what I want to do is, you know how I charge $4.50, anywhere between $4 to $4.50 for shipping. I don't charge it. The post office charges it. Um, I'm going to be, if you're ordering a pair of these earrings, and if you go to my website, Right now, or if you've been to my website, you'll notice that the Melody, for example, costs $12. I'm just going to add the $4 to that price for shipping, and then you're going to see free shipping. So I don't want you to think that my prices increase. My prices are not increasing. I'm just tagging in the shipping cost, and that way I can say free shipping, um, and then you can order online. So you can have the option to order it via um, PayPal or you can order it online. But I'm just, I know a lot of people have been to my website. I have over over 100 some people that like my website. So you guys are kind of sort of familiar with my prices and I don't want, it appears that I went up on my prices. No, I have not. Only thing I did was added the shipping to that price so that I can tag each one of those items as free shipping. So instead of $12, you may see $16.50, but just know that the shipping was tagged or added to that. Okay, we clear, we clear. So yeah, I wanted to do it that way because, um, you know, people want to order when they want to order. And sometimes you don't feel like doing all that invoicing and blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. Essie is a very secure site, so I don't have to worry about anything fraudulent that's going on over there. So I feel good that I now have... You know, those options, you know, what whichever way is more uh, comfortable for you if you are interested in ordering any of the earrings or anything else that I, you know, work up and do what I need to do. So I got two things that I'll be leaving down in the comments below. I will be leaving, I'm sorry, in the description below, I will be leaving um, the plastic bag holder. Again, this one was done a little bit differently. Only if because I forgot how many I increased. So because the bag was a little bit wide, I decided to go half and make my, what you call it, euros going to be a little bit more slimmer. Ugh. Okay, but I'll leave that down below in case you want to do that. And also, um, what else I said? Oh, if you're interested in a knit crate, I'll leave that. <coughs> Along with anything else, just check out the description, y'all. 
I'm getting ready to make me some soup, some vegetable soup. And I'm only using the vegetables that I have in the house. I, I decided that I, I thought to myself, well, I'm just going to run out real quick and pick up some celery and pick up some carrots and chop them up and my onions and spinach, corn, whatever. Have a nice broth, cook uh, not a broth, but a nice soup. I decided I'm not doing all that. I have certain vegetables in there. I'm going to throw those vegetables and make me a quick soup. I'm getting ready to do that on my other channel, which is a DOY Life. If you're interested in seeing how I'm making this soup, head on over to there and make sure you are subscribed over there. And uh, yeah. So, all right, guys, that is what I wanted to stop in to share with you guys. I am super excited about this. Y'all, I am so excited about these earrings. I am just super, super excited. Get excited about your stuff. I am going to be doing the... Granny Square Challenge, that is going to be on another video. I will be sharing that with you guys right after this video right here. I'm trying to think, should I just go ahead and finish this one and then go ahead and... I'm like Jan. You might see me with the same things on um, because I'm going to do a video afterwards. But I want to do that separately. Thank you to everyone who has tagged me into doing the challenge. That is the uh, Granny Square Challenge. I'll give more details about it so I can do my tagging. All of you guys probably be tagged by the time I get around to it. But in any case, I'm still going to be tagging. So anyway, guys, that is what I wanted to stop in to share with you guys today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it so, so very much. If you have not already subscribed, it should be a subscribe button somewhere there. Or you can hit my face over here or over there. Make sure you check out the other videos. And I'll be checking with you guys later. Until the next video, always remember, y'all, Psalm 684 in your King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll see you guys in the next video really, really soon. Deuces. All right. Bye for now.